What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, this is part 34 I think, and in today's video we are finally going to re-add the health bar and we are gonna fully make it work so that it displays your current health when you are damaged and you know it decreases the more you are damaged so yeah we are gonna do that in this video and uh, yeah i know like i've been not doing this for a long time uh, and i'm sorry about that but there are a few things i wanted to finish first like organizing stuff but yeah now that we are ready let us get started but before we do make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel and if you are not please like the video super special thanks to my patrons who are supporting the series and are getting the project files. If you guys want the project files and access to other series, currently I'm working on a new one for uh, for a 3D platformer. I'm gonna be posting the videos much faster on Patreon there for that series. So if you guys want early access to that, or if you just want the project files, make sure that you check out my Patreon. And yeah, guys, let us get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the widgets folder which is like this folder where we added the game over screen we are just gonna right click and we are gonna go to user interface widget blueprint and we are gonna create a new one which is gonna be called hud underscore widget and we are gonna open it and basically this is the screen where we can see all of our stuff or all of our you know widgets or user interface so over here what we want to do is we are basically going to get a progress bar and we are going to anchor it to the upper left corner and yeah we are just going to place it at zero zero and if we zoom in we can just move it slightly like this and slightly like this so it's going to be like 15 by 15. So I'm just going to add that 15 by 15. And for the size, I'm just going to hold it like this and drag it out to be, I don't know, a little bit small like this. Is it too small? No, it's fine. A little bit bigger, no problem. So it's going to be like 450 by 40, the size. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now we are going to add a color. So we have, where's the color part? I think it's over here. Progress. Yeah, it's over here. So what we want to do is we are going to change the color from blue to red. Oh, it's here. Appearance, fill color and opacity. We are going to go to red here and we're going to make it slightly darker. Because, you know, this is how it is in Dark Souls, and we are creating a Dark Souls 4. So, yeah, let's just, um, yeah, let's just make it red. And this stamina will be green, or, I don't know, yellow, I guess. And, yeah, this is fine for now. What we also want to do is we want to add padding. So, where is it? Oh, okay, the padding is here. So, the port border padding, what it does is it leaves off a space between the edges and the progress like the percentage itself and it looks a little bit fancy so yeah i'm gonna make it five by five so five for the sides and five for the up and down and we are also going to change the background color to be black or i don't know dark gray yeah dark gray is fine kind of like this and we are also going to change the um, alpha to be a little bit transparent. So 0 0.7 is fine. And yeah, I think that's about it for the way it looks. Now all we have to do it is change the percentage to be 1 by default and compile. And make sure that this progress bar is a variable. I'm going to rename it to health bar. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the graph fold uh, area here and we are going to get the health bar and we want to set the percentage to be whatever our health is. So just drag out of the health bar variable 
and type in set percent and you know it should come by default in the widget like with the progress bar and we also want to do yeah for now this is fine but next what we are gonna do is we are gonna um yeah we're gonna go to the blueprint interface and we are gonna create a brand new function actually we're gonna create two so we'll just go to blueprints blueprint character actions and stats that's what i'm gonna rename it to so yeah please rename it if it's called character actions yeah character actions and stats but you know this long this name is very long so what i'm gonna do is yeah i'm just gonna call it character actions um stats like this with a dash character actions stats so yeah it's taken quite a lot of time because we used it quite a lot but if we hit play i'm pretty sure it's still gonna work as usual unless we destroyed our game which is like a big problem yeah i think we ruined something wait what did we ruin yeah there is something wrong Oh, this is for the enemy? Yeah, okay, it's fixed now. We also have this part. Wait, this is the enemy AI? Okay, so this task was not really... Yeah, it was in the garbage folder, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna delete everything inside it and compile. And now if we hit play, should it... Yeah, it works. Same as before. You know, I think... It's not because we renamed it. Uh, in the time we um, organized the project, yeah, we renamed some of the stuff in the um, interface uh, functions, but now it's fixed. Sorry for the distraction, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the HUD widget, and over here, now that we've added the uh, interface, which is not called character actions anymore, let's just remove it and add it again. So yeah, add it, and now it's called character, actions, and stats. And if we type in event, update, health, you should see that it works now. And you just want to connect it to the set percent, and the percentage is going to be the in percent. And yeah, you just compile, and I think that's about it for the uh, widget. So next, we are going to go to the... BP player, which is like us, and we are also going to need to go to the BP base. Now, in the BP player, what we want to do is we want to add it to the viewport. We want to add the widget to the viewport, so just type in create widget. The owning player will be the character controller, so, so just type in controller, uh, yeah, player controller, not character. and the class will be the HUD widget. Then we are gonna promote it to a variable, which is gonna be called HUD underscore, or without underscore, just HUD widget. And then we are gonna add it to the viewport. So just type in add to viewport. And of course, I'm doing a lot of typos like this. Now we should be able to see the health bar that we've just created. We want to go to the event tick here and we want to update stats. So this is the function that we've just made. So it will get explained later, just wait. And then we are going to create an event for it. So just type in event, update, stats. So this is what happens when this happens. So this happens like every tick in the game, we check for the health or the stats. So yeah, now we have update stats. When that happens, what we wanna do is we wanna check the update health function. So this is the one where we, um, this is the one we did here. So we're gonna call this event, but 
it's not this way. You want to get the HUD widget. And then from here, type in update health like this. Yeah, for now, this is fine. We can just replace it later and then connect it to the event. And now we need to get the health percentage, which is going to be from the BP base. So over here in the BP base, what we want to do is we want to go to a certain part in the check damage, which is in the combat. You go to the on hit, <coughs> sorry. And we have this check damage part, which, you know, does the recoil part for when you get hit and then you either die or, you know, you stay alive. But there are a few things we want to change before we go in there. So we have in the character stats here, we have health points. We want to change the amount of health points to be 10 instead of 100. And we are also going to create a brand new variable, which is also going to be called health points. And we want to change it to a float also. Oh, we don't want it to be called health points. We want it to be called health points max. So this is the maximum number of health. And we are also going to make it an editable variable. And now, since we changed that to 10, we need to change the subtracted health to be something smaller so that when we are, um, when we get hit, we don't die immediately since this is 30 now. So I'm just going to make it 0 0.2 or you know what, just, I'm going to make it two. So when you get hit, you get reduced by two. Now, if we go in here, we want to get a certain part in the game or in the uh, chain of events that updates the stats. So we can do it after we check whether we are an enemy, like the, the one getting hit is an enemy or not. So what we want to do is before we play the sound and game over screen, or no, no, not, not here. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Yeah, before we play the sound and the game over screen, we are going to add in a update stats message. So from true, type in update stats. And we are going to make it an interface call. So like this. Yeah, it's like this. And then from here, what do we do? Yeah, we're going to go to the BP player again, and we are going to get the health points. And we're also going to get the health points max. We're going to divide the health points by, by the health points max. So float by float divided by float and it's going to be the health percentage. And if we compile and hit play, yeah, there is an issue that, yeah, the character health is zero, I think. So if we go here to the details, there should be something called, yeah, here, character stats, health points, max, you should change it to 10. This is like, this should be for every character in the game. You should ch check. So if you add it to the enemy too, you should check. So if we compile and hit play, we should be able to see our health bar being fully full. And if we go get hit by the enemy, so if we wait for her to hit us, you know, I really want to improve the AI. Yeah, as you can see, the health decreases. And we are getting damaged. Yeah, we died. Perfect. Now, what we are going to do next is we are going to just 
in the designer here you know this is the last thing uh, we are gonna change the position to be 25 by 25 so yeah it's a little bit too far off to the corner so if you try it out now it should look a little bit better yeah it's fine like this and you know under it we'd have we'd have the stamina which is like not too far we are gonna do the stamina very soon but yeah this is it for this video we got it working in the next video we are going to be working on the enemy health so we are going to give the enemy their own health bar which will be like over their head and we are also going to be adding the stamina in the video after so please look forward to that i really hope you guys have been enjoying the series and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching if you are new to my channel please make sure to subscribe if this was useful and also don't forget to like the video if you want to support me and help me make more videos and thank you to my patrons again and thank you also for not my patrons who are watching thank you to everyone and yeah guys i'll see you in the next video take care and bye